Hey guys, welcome to another scammer video. So I had a very interesting conversation on Instagram and at the time I was like, what the hell is going on? But after processing a little bit, I realized that it was most definitely a scam and I think I figured out what the scam was. So I thought I would share the messages with you guys because it is very interesting and i'm curious what you guys think if you think my theory is right if you have a different theory i would love to know um i do want to give a warning some of these messages are very disturbing warning in advance um but let's get right in so i got a dm from somebody and they just said hi looking at their profile um they had a profile picture of an old man no pictures, a small amount of followers, a fairly anonymous looking account. Um, but I did respond and I said, hey there, because I try to respond to everybody, I try to be nice to everybody, you never know who could be a friend, you never know if someone just needs someone to talk to. Um, also sometimes I get shit if I don't respond, the very few times I don't respond, sometimes I get shit for it, so um, I just try to respond to everybody. I like to try to respond to everybody. And things go downhill pretty quickly pretty fast. <laughs> the second message, the second message from this person is, do you like minors mommy? Question mark. Hee <laughs> hee. What did you say? <laughs> I said, what? Dot dot dot. I was hella concerned at this point. Um, very creeped out, very curious, and confused. Do you like 15 year olds? Hee hee hee. I'm like what? I said I'm not a disgusting pervert, so no. And he said it has nothing to do with it. As long as nobody knows, we can change photos. No, we can't. No, we cannot. No. I said, are you 15? Your picture is of an old man. He said he's a famous singer from Chile, and then he sent a voice recording that is very creepy, and I will play it for you now. Famous, famous. I said, okay, well, I'm still not a pervert and you need to be more careful on here, lol, take care. And at this point, I did not think I was talking to a 15 year old, um, because what 15 year old starts off a conversation with, do you like minors, mommy? And then he said, can you show me your boobs, please, please? I've never seen one, <laughs> I've never seen one <laughs> singular boob. Um, and I show you my 15 year old boys that message still makes me so nauseous. When I saw that, I literally just wanted to chuck my phone across the room. And then he said, please show me your boobs. Which, <laughs> the sob story, I've never seen one. Like, forget food, forget water, forget shelter. You've never seen a boob. Oh, the travesty, I mean, that's, that's so tough. It's so tough, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, so at this point, I'm ready to call Chris Hansen. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I'm very concerned. But I immediately said, you oh my god, and blocked this person because I'm not about to get child. You know what? I do not want that. Um, I don't want to get arrested <laughs> for that. I want no part of this. So I just blocked this person, even though part of me was just curious, like, I just didn't know what was going on because I knew that this was not a 15 year old. Also like, what 15 year old says, and I show you my 15 year old. Ugh. Also, this person has Instagram, but can't just Google boobs or boob, <laughs> can't see one boob. Also, it's like, it's almost too easy to see nudity nowadays in 2022. It's almost too easy. I don't think if I had a kid, I would let my kid have a phone till they were 18 and they hadn't, and I had no choice. I had no say in the matter. But after I blocked this person, I was just like, what was that? <laughs> but after a while, it just kind of hit me. I was just kind of like, oh. So my theory is that had I been either stupid or pedophile um, and actually sent this person a picture of my boobs that would be the ultimate blackmail because not only would this person have nudes but this person would 
have nudes that were sent to a minor who the person knew very well, was told multiple times that I am a minor, I am 15. That's just the ultimate blackmail because he then could say, give me this amount of money or I'm going to call the cops or I'm going to post this online and I'm going to ruin your life. Um, so that's what I think that this scam was, which is interesting because if someone did fall for the scam, it's definitely their fault and it's definitely deserved. But at the same time, a scammer using something so serious to their own personal benefit is also disgusting. It'd be one thing if this was like a pedophile hunter who is just trying to expose pedophiles, stop them. But I don't get that vibe. I get more of a scammer vibe than a pedophile hunter vibe. But yeah, you guys can let me know what you think, if you think my theory is correct. If you have a different theory, you can let me know if you think that this person is justified in this scam. At the end of the day, I think scamming is scamming. It's wrong no matter what, even if you're scamming someone bad. It's still a scam, and instead of scamming someone to get money, you should report them and prevent them from preying on somebody else. But yeah, those are just my thoughts, and that was just a weird conversation that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you can definitely let me know if you want to see more scammer type of videos, because I do get a lot of scam messages. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!